Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm still cleaning my stuff up. I still got a ways to go. You know, I got a lot of equipment. Uh, clean my reel mowers, uh, my outlet so far, clean my right. Got my work truck cleaned up and I'm working on my two push mowers here that I keep at the house. This is a Y Bravo 25 inch and that is a Massport Rotorola 21 inch. We do have the Rotorola on the GCI Turf Academy website. They're for sale there. Uh, I've got another video on it, uh, a little more in detail about that mower, and I'll link that up in the description below. You can check it out if you want to. But time to get them cleaned up. Uh, first thing, I get to take my blades off. I'm gonna send these off to reedgit.com, and they'll get sharpened, balanced, cleaned up. When I get them back, uh, they'll be ready to go on the mower and it'll be ready to go for next spring. Of course, I'm not doing any mowing right now. I'm just kind of prepping everything, getting it ready for the upcoming season. Now, I know it's a little sensitive for some folks about putting water on the motor itself. Uh, my take on that is I'm gonna use the least amount of water that's possible or needed in order to get the job done. I'm, I'm gonna do everything in my power to avoid just saturating the motor with water. But, you know, you have to use some water to some extent. So uh, we'll just do our best to, to not do any damage. Uh, in 20 years of cleaning mowers with pressure washers, I have yet to have one not crank or not start back up after I do it. So it's just common sense. Don't, don't, the, the motor doesn't need to go swimming, okay? It just needs to get cleaned. First thing is uh, I'm gonna pressure wash up, up under the deck and knock all the heavy stuff off. Well, let me, let me back up. I've already gotten all the heavy stuff off with a spatula and scraped it up and got all that off. Anything that was stuck to it and left, uh, pressure washer will knock that off. That was the easy one. This is going to be the rough. All right, I got pretty much everything out from under the deck. Uh, now I'm gonna pressure wash the heavy stuff on the outside. Notice I'm staying away from the motor as much as possible right now. right here is the discharge chute that goes through the white bravo so I'm get all the heavy stuff off on my pocket knife then take a pressure washer to it and clean it up real good all right that's good to go so I clean my mowers and my equipment pretty much with the same thought process as I do my Mustang and my truck. And I'm gonna foam it down first, get some lubrication going. And of course, I'm gonna use like a really small little detail brush. That way I can get in every little crack and corner. I'm sure not to miss anything.
and the Y Bravo is a little more nasty. So I'm gonna soak it down with a degreaser before I foam it. And that way it'll help to break loose any yucky that's kind of attached to the mower. ready to go for next year and of course when I get my blades back from re-edit uh, I'll pop those on it'll be nice and sharp and ready to go for next year I'd like to challenge you okay if you're someone who doesn't care anything about keeping your mowers clean washed and all that kind of thing I challenge you to try and make a change and try and do that uh, if for no other reason if you ever sell the machine your resale value will probably be a little bit higher if you have a well-maintained, clean machine. I realize there's a lot of factors that go into reselling equipment, but uh, you have to you'd have to say that a really nice, clean one you may be able to get a few bucks more for it than if it was butt nasty. Say I'll link all this stuff up in the description, all the cleaning things, the pressure washer and the foam can and all that stuff I used, it'll be in the description below. And so I'm getting down to the wire. I think I got my AVI I need to clean, my Ventrac I need to clean. Uh, may have another work truck. My old gray uh, 2002 Power Stroke diesel. You know, I've never personally done a two-step paint correction or ceramic coating. Uh, the vehicles I have that have coating and or paint corrected I actually paid a, a professional to do it but I'm gonna bring my work truck over here one day and I'll video it and I'll show you my very first time at attempting to do the two-step paint correction I'm gonna use it do it on a work truck so then just in case I screw up then it's not a big deal but I watched pan and Matt enough I'm really confident it seems to be a, a very, very simple process, so I'm pretty confident I can get it done and, uh, you know, the results will turn out nice. Say, as always, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch. I'll check you later.